Hello, I am Brian Carpenter, sports editor of the Meriden Record Journal, and welcome to the fourth and final installment of our All Record Journal teams for the fall 2017 season. We've brought you volleyball, boys soccer, girls soccer, and this Sunday we bring you our football teams. We had a unit on offense, unit on defense, 11 guys on each side of the ball, a kicker and a punter, and let me tell you, it was not easy to pick, especially here on defense. We went into the season saying it was the year of the quarterback. Well, I think Pete and I might have been a little bit wrong. It really, really was the year of the linebacker. We've got five of them. We've got three boys up front. We've got three boys in the secondary, and we've got a punter. And we're going to bring them to you now. We're going to start up front. And here's a player who was a big, big piece of the Maloney machine that made the postseason for the first time since 2006. He is defensive end, Mr. Desmond King. Desmond had a tremendous season, all-CCC Division II player. He had 69 tackles, 23 of them were for a loss. That included 10 and a half sacks. Desmond King, key man for the Maloney Spartans, up front in a 9-2 season. Also at defensive end, this player was part of a big turnaround at another school. He is only a junior. He is Mr. Zach Kaiser from Lyman Hall. Zach, an All-SEC Tier 3 player, he had 60 tackles, 9 sacks, along with being named All-SEC Tier 3, he was also named to the Connecticut High School Coaches Association's All-State Class M team. Remember something, Zach Kaiser had an injury last year, did not play. He steps into a starting role, Lyman Hall turns it around quite a bit under Coach Bill Wyrock, the SEC Tier 3 Coach of the Year, Zach Kaiser, we look forward to seeing him play again next year. For our third and final lineman, we go back over to Maloney, and here's a guy, no surprise that he's on our team. He is O'Neill Ward, Maloney High School, All-CC Division II player. He was just a monster this year. 64 tackles, 22 of them were behind the line of scrimmage. He was the area sack leader with 14. You're looking at our sack leaders, by the way, right there across the board. O'Neill Ward with 14, Desmond King, 10 and a half, Zach Kaiser with 9. There was another one. Another guy who is on that list, and we're going to lead, have him lead off our linebacker list as we go there. Again, we picked five linebackers. It turns out these five boys were the leading tacklers on their team. We start at Southington. Not only was this guy his leading tackler, he was up there in the sack list. He is senior, Ian Hall. Ian had 10 sacks. That puts him uh, third on the list behind the two boys from Maloney. Ian was an all-CCC player. He was also on the Connecticut High School Coaches All-State uh, list for Class LL. He led the Blue Knights with 94 tackles. That's Stevie Daniels is doing the stats over there, so you know those 94 tackles are legit. 11 and a half were for a loss. As mentioned, Ian had 10 sacks. Also from linebacker, over at Cheshire, on the other side of the line at the Apple Classic, the leader for the Rams, Mr. Nick Nelson. Nick had a tremendous junior year, and he kept it right going with a senior year. Good uh, two-way ball player. He was also a guard on offense, for which he was recognized by the SEC. He was all SEC Tier 1 as an offensive lineman. On defense, he led the Rams with 118 tackles. He was Cheshire's Defensive Play of the Year. Also at linebacker, pleased to have this boy back for a second year from Maloney, Mr. Mitch McEwen. Mitch had a tremendous senior season. He led the Spartans with 107 tackles. Of that 107, 17 were for losses. He also had picked off three passes, and he had two fumble recoveries. And don't forget, Mitch also did the kicking for, for Maloney. Very versatile player for Maloney was Mitch. He was recognized with all CC selection. Also at linebacker, we go down to Lyman Hall. Randy McFarland, senior, he was all SEC Tier 3, and his numbers jump out at you. He led the Trojans with 61 tackles. He was also a key player on offense. He led the team in rushing with 943 yards. He also scored nine touchdowns. Happy to have Randy McFarland as an all-record journal linebacker. Our fifth and final linebacker in our 3-5-3 all-RJ defense is from Sheehan, Will Terzi. Will was a key player on Sheehan's march to its first state tournament berth since 95. He led the, the Titans with 193, uh, 129 tackles, 129, area best, 129 tackles for Will. He also played right tackle on the offense. He was an all-SEC Tier 3 player. He is also an all-record journal linebacker. That brings us back to the secondary. We have three guys back there. We have two cornerbacks, we're convinced 
and confident they can cover anybody. Certainly this guy could. From Southington, an uh, all-record journal return player, he is Mr. Sam Thompson. Sammy had an all-CCC season with 42 tackles, four interceptions, and he also broke up 16 passes. That number jumps off the page. He recovered two fumbles. He was in on special teams, a very versatile athlete, six foot four. Sam Thompson, all-record journal cornerback. His partner on the other side, he was the MVP of the Stoddard Bowl. He is from Maloney, Mr. Cruz Leonard. Cruz had 64 tackles. He, like Sam, also had four interceptions. And he was also selected to the All-CCC team. We are proud to have him as an All-Record Journal cornerback. That leaves our man at free safety. We have a number of guys on this team who could have also played this position. We're going with this guy because he was a solid two-way player for the Sheehan Titans. He, like Will Terzi, was also a senior captain. He is Mr. Evan Mansfield. Evan was terrific as a wide receiver. He was, in fact, the area's fifth leading receiver. We're going to play him at free safety where he was an all-SEC Tier 3 player. He had 72 tackles on offense for the record, 44 catches for 596 yards and eight touchdowns. And he was also senior captain, and he was a good one. That rounds out our 11-man defense. We also have to have a punter. And we have the area's best with this young man. For a second year, he is on the all-record journal team. He is from Cheshire, Mr. Ethan Bronson. Ethan was an all-SEC Tier 1 player. And if you needed to make the game swing on field position, he was the guy. He excelled in pinning opponents, not just inside the 20, but inside the 10. He had a big leg. Looking forward to perhaps seeing him play also in college. Ian Bronson, all-record journal punter for his second straight year. There you have it, our all-record journal team on defense. 11 field players plus the punter. Also go check out our all-record journal offense companion video. It's a twofer. It's like a trilogy. We appreciate you watching. We enjoyed watching these young men, as well as many others who were in contention for our all-record journal teams. It was very, very difficult to just pick 11 on each side of the ball. We cannot stress that enough. It was a fantastic season. We had two teams make it to the playoffs. Most of our teams had winning records. Thank you for watching. I am Brian Carpenter, sports editor of the Meriden Record Journal.